We're now joined by the one and only LaShawn Higgs. I can't believe your career is coming to an end at Texas. It just seemed like you, you just arrived here on the 40 acres. Has it hit you yet? I would say it's starting to. Yeah. I mean, with, they, we, with each game passing by, it's really like, oh, my God, there's really eight more games left. It's really seven. The countdown is underway. Six. And it's kind of weird because I was kind of preparing myself for this moment last year but mm -hmm. you know unfortunately I tore my ACL so it's like wow I'm counting down again <laughs> how tough was that situation I mean every year you've progressed you're getting better and better and then that injury happens it must have been devastating at the time it was devastating but as time went on I kind of thought of it and I was like you know what everything actually happens for a reason because I grew in a lot of areas yeah that I probably, that probably would have taken a, a little bit more, much longer uh, to grow in if this haven't happened, but. Like what, what areas did you grow in? I would say patience, for sure. Um, being patient with myself, being patient with the, the, um, the moment of like trying to get through it, being patient with the rehab. So it was just, it took a lot of patience to deal with this, this sort of injury. Was the mental aspect tougher than the actual physical rehab? At the beginning, I didn't think it would be, but the tough part was actually playing again, hmm. getting back on the court, trusting it, and at the beginning, not quite being able to do what you're used to at first. Yeah. So yeah, that can be a little frustrating. You hit it well, because I was at your first game back. And you look just like the old LaShawn, but I, I guess upstairs you're thinking in your head, you know, am I quite back? Can I fully, you know, go all out? Is that what was going on during your first game back? I mean, like, going through it, you can actually feel it because mm. on defense, your step would be like a step slower. Yeah. Or like not running quick as you do, used to or like jumping off of it. Yeah. I mean, it might not be, able, be that noticeable, like, on the outside, but like, Knowing what you used to do, and at that moment, yeah, it was definitely challenging. I feel like you're getting better and better throughout the season. You've been in a zone. We were talking with Coach over 40 points the last three games. How, how much more comfortable do you feel right now as compared to the start of the season? I, mean, I most definitely feel my explosion coming back, my speed, and I feel like I'm there most definitely, but I still feel like, I mean, there's still a little bit more to go. I, me personally, that's how I feel. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, the confidence is definitely coming back. When you look at this team, you know, and you look at your tenure here, and we brought it up, college career coming to an end, how much has it meant to have your dad, George Washington, as part of the staff and, and just wish with you along this whole journey through Texas? I mean, it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. I mean, there's times when he can be that. <laughs> There's times that we can be coached, but I feel like over the years we leveled that pretty well. Yeah. And it's been sort of an equal balance. So, I mean, I consider it a blessing because not very many people get to do that. Who's been your closest friend on the team? We watched the drive around with you and Charlie earlier in the season. It seemed like you two have a pretty good chemistry, but if you had to pick one, and even a past player who you got to know really well during your time here, who would that be? I would say set aside from right now mm -hmm. in the moment it would be probably Charlie mm -hmm. but in the past actually has been Diani um, you know she uh, kind of red not red shirt but like what does it call medical yeah medical yeah, red shirt medical yeah. red shirt I think her junior year yeah so yeah that she's been my closest friend in the past yeah before we let you go LaShawn what does the future hold for you you go in pro have you thought about it I would like to play professionally for a couple of years and maybe come back to school at some point to get a degree in nursing after. I'm nursing, done. okay. Yeah, after I'm done playing. More so in the neonatal care because um, I, I love the children. But um, Not coaching. Coaching is yeah. not in your future? As of now, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a definite no. no. But I mean, you never know what the future holds. Gotcha. In, you know, your interests change daily, so we never know.
Well, it's been a pleasure covering you throughout your fantastic career, and thanks so much for joining us, LaShawn. Thank you. Thank you.